Hi, my name is Samantha and welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be loading up these shelves with fabric. Let's get into it. Here is what we are working with to start. So we've got the furniture in place. This guy will be non-fabric items. Those shelves are ready for some fabric. And we have the majority of fabric here. There are some boxes still downstairs. What I'm going to start with is opening the boxes and laying them out in categories here on the table, which I have cleaned off, so that once they do go on the shelves, we have some sort of, you know, categories. Here's the cotton flannel all out of their boxes. So I'm going to start on this side with the cotton flannel, doing the cat's last, because if those need to go on this side, then that's fine. Because uh, I do want to keep in mind the light so the fabrics on this bookcase are the most likely to get faded um not that i've had troubles with fading but just something to keep in mind fabric being touched by light uh, these two bins are regular fabric and then these guys didn't fit when i uh, cut up the flannel they should be with these ones i had a feeling it wouldn't all fit so I'm glad that I had that game plan. I think this is looking good. I could definitely organize the fabrics better to look prettier, but for now, I'm happy just that they're the same type of fabric. So on to the bins and the boxes that have fabric and we'll fill up the table again and start putting them on the shelves. Moving tip for you, all of my boxes and bins that have fabric or clothes, I put a full or a half sheet of a dryer sheet to keep them smelling fresh. And then when you get to your destination, just pull them aside and then you can use them when you're washing your clothes. Let's start with these ones and get them loaded up. The categories aren't perfect, but here's what I pretty much have. So these are cotton flannel um, plaid or gingham, I'm not sure. These are special fabrics that are for me and I wanna make them for myself. Licensed solids or mostly solids, masculine, um, projects that are the, um, like you cut it to a certain size, kids, um, just patterns, patterns, seasonal, florals, um, these are like textured or more like shirting or clothing material. These are more satins. These are uh, canvas, animals, uh, fruit, and then some that weren't folded the same manner. So they're not going to fit nicely on the shelf. But let me load these up and then we'll see how we're looking and keep going. Here's an update. So we've got the um, gingham and the plaids and the child fabrics all together, as well as the ones that are more shirting material licensed and masculine, um, florals, the, and then just the patterns, some nautical, uh, seasonal, the fabrics that are for myself, uh, fruits, and then uh, animals, solids. These guys are more like duck cloth, and then these ones are more satiny. Um, and then this row right here is going to be um, things that are patterns or have been cut up, so like a functioning row. And if things need to adjust, we can adjust, but I just want to you know, keep going in stages. All of the boxes and bins have been empty. Let me go ahead and give you a quick pass over. And what I'm going to do is clean up this remaining mess, unbox myself out of here, and then I'm going to record a tour for you guys. Now, like I said, this is not complete because there's still boxes downstairs. Um, they're just very heavy. I have to wait for Will to get home. So I just want to get this recorded because if I don't do it then it's not gonna happen but I owe you guys another sewing room tour so this one's gonna be posted on Thursday and then uh, I'll give you another one in October or November which will have everything but this is how it is looking so far please don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're sure to get the tour video on Thursday all right have a great day 